Oh my god, this is so heavy. What have I done? I am going to take this back to Brazil. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, my name is Mariana and today I'm gonna show you something I bought during Black Friday that is amazing, like incredible. And it was such a steal, it was a really, really good price. I have never seen this kit for such a price and I'm so happy and glad I was able to buy it. Anyway, I bought this huge kit here from AliExpress and since I'm living in France, it got delivered in four days. It was super quick and I'm so glad because I wouldn't be able to wait one month for anything. Like, oh, <laughs> seriously, I can't wait. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you guys what this is. Basically, since 2015, 2016, I have always wanted a marker kit, like a artistic marker, alcohol marker kit. And I wanted that because I wanted to be a car designer. And I watched lots of videos about car designing and sketching and things like that. And in all these videos, the people used alcohol markers. So I really wanted a little kit to get started. And my parents actually gifted me a pack from Stadler, but it was not exactly an alcohol marker that it could blend and do art with. So I actually used these markers for my studies and not actually drawing or sketching. So I really wanted to buy this little kit here from Touch New, which is a brand you guys probably know about. And this was actually 36 euros, which is equivalent to, I think, maybe 40, 45 dollars, something like that. And it comes with 168 markers, which is amazing. I think I got all the colors and it's just amazing. I mean, this thing is pretty heavy and I really like the case. Like it looks very sturdy and looks like it's going to last a long time. And I also got a couple of gifts that the seller actually sent me. So I'm also going to show you guys this. Anyway, let's get started and let me show you guys this little box. Okay, guys, so let's open this baby up. This is a very, very big bag. Well, as you can see, it's squared and it also is already a little bit marked by the pens. Like because the pens were stuck inside here for a long time, I imagine the 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 bag kind of got the shape of the pens. Anyway, let's open this up. Look at this. This is so beautiful, like really. Maybe I got a little bit overexcited and bought all the colors even though I don't know how to use them. Maybe. But look at that. This is so satisfying. Like this is really, really beautiful. And I'm going to show you guys what this marker looks like. So it's like this and it has two tips. This tip over here is a bullet tip. So it's not a brush tip. Like some markers you can buy, for example, Copic markers and Ohuhu markers also have this option. This Touch New one doesn't have a option for brush tip yet, or at least I haven't seen this. And it also has this broad tip here, which is a chisel tip, I think the name is. And it's a really, really broad tip. And I'm gonna show you a close up right now. So it looks like this. And it's kind of a very geometric and um, squared shape, which is nice. And then the bullet tip is like this just a simple bullet tip. And one thing that I found very, very useful about these markers is that it has a little uh, stripe, gray stripe here, which makes it so much easier for you to see uh, which tip you're going to use. So when you grab this, this marker, you can simply just look for the stripe and then say, oh, this is the bullet tip or this is the chisel tip. So this is very, very useful. And here on top, we have not only the number of the color, but also the name. So I also like this a lot. Anyway, we have here 168 colors, which I thought were all the colors of the collection, but apparently there are some other colors that I don't know how you can get. And aside from all the colors, I also got the colorless blender. 
and I also got another colorless blender that has the packaging a little bit different than the rest of them because it is kind of a diamond shape, like triangle shape, and this one is more a square shape. And I got this as a gift from the seller, which is nice. And the colorless blender, I have seen some videos about alcohol markers, and apparently the blender is not actually a blender, it's just for you to um, pick up the color if you mess up something. And it's not very great for blending, blending is something different, at least that's what I've seen from the videos. I'm not sure if I said it before, but I have never used alcohol-based markers for art before, so this is the first for me, and that's why I think I got a little bit too excited and ended up buying all of the colors but i'm very very happy with this and the quality is great i have tested them and all of them work and the colors are beautiful there are a couple of colors that i'll probably never use like this really really bright pink uh, that i'll probably never use this bright orange and all the neon colors i'll probably never use but you know what i really like this huge collection it's quite heavy to say um, to be fair, it's quite quite heavy. I'm not sure how I'm going to take this with me home because I'm currently living in France and this got here in three days here in France and after I'll have to go back to Brazil and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to take everything that I bought with me. Anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to show you guys all the other gifts I got from the seller because depending on the number of pens you bought, you got a couple different gifts. The first one is this beautiful glove here, which makes me feel very, very professional, even though I'm not. It makes me look professional. If you ever saw someone drawing with this glove on, I would totally think he or she is a professional. So I'm really happy I got this. And this is supposed to help you not smudge your drawing as you're drawing. So if you rest your hand on the paper, and just slide it across. It's supposed to protect your drawing from getting smudged. I don't usually get my drawing smudged, so I'm not sure how, how helpful this is going to be, but I love it because it looks so professional. Next up, I got all of these pens as gifts. First off, we have a white pen, which I really like because I was needing another one. I have some bullet tip pens with fine liner tips as well. This tip here is fine liner and this one is bullet tip, so they are all black. I have two cute pink fine liners, 0 0.5, and then two very beautiful um, pens, 0 0.7, no, 0, 0 0.8, and this one is a shiny silver and this one is a shiny gold. So it's really, really nice. I'm gonna test it out and show you guys the results. And also I'm gonna show you the tips. So first off, I'm just gonna show you the tips. Uh, I think it's kind of too white because the sun is coming out. So forgive me if it is. Anyway, this is the white pen and it is a 0 0.8 millimeter pen. And it has this little tip here, which is very nice. Looks like a normal pen. And then these black pens here, like I said, they have a bullet tip and then a fine liner tip, which is very nice because I use um, fine liners on my drawings to do tracing and also to finish them up. Next up, we have these pink uh, fine liners here, which are actually black. It's just that cover is pink, but they are actually black. And they, can, they came with a protection, like this plastic protection. And all the pens came with a pla plastic protection to protect the tip, which is great. And then we have these two beautiful pens here, which are both 0 0.8 and they look very smooth. And I really like the tip of them because it's very easy to use. Anyway, I already kind of swatched all of these. So I'm gonna show you uh, the results. So here we have the results. The, the first one is the black pen that has a bullet tip and a fine liner tip. So this is the bullet one and the fine liner one. And then we have the silver pen, which is quite shiny. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but it's quite shiny. 
as well as the gold one which is shiny as well and then finally the 0.5 millimeters fine liners which are quite fine and i really like them and the last gift i got is the gift i was most excited about which is this small sketchbook here it's a a5 sketchbook with 30 sheets uh, and it has it has 150 grams i think per square meter i'm not sure uh, it doesn't say here it just says 150 by uh, for each uh, square meter anyway this is the touch new sketchbook and i already swatched all the colors of the markers as you can see here and they are very beautiful colors if you use this paper here uh, the colors are very smooth and overall they look great uh, it might it might look a, a little bit splotchy if you don't use enough ink but overall I really liked it and like I said before this is my first time using alcohol markers so I went ahead and I did a couple of trials I was trying to mix darker colors with lighter colors to make a beautiful blend and sometimes it worked like this here and sometimes it didn't like this here so i was kind of experimenting because i need more experience in order to be able to use them i just had to uh, reduce the light because it was too bright i'm sorry and i already did i already drew two things yesterday and the day before so i'm gonna show you guys again this is my first time using these markers so it's gonna take a while for me to actually get used to them and i haven't drawn in a very very long time since i got into university i actually i think four years ago i only drew like maximum 10 times so yeah i'm starting to get back now and that's why i bought this huge pack because i really want to get back into drawing because i love it i think it's such a fun hobby and it it just has some beautiful results if you really put your effort in so these are the two first drawings i did with marker i really liked them and uh, this one i used the fine liner and this one i didn't there are a couple of things that i'm still learning like for example i wasn't able to erase all the pencil marks i used here on this drawing and I think it's because if you put pencil and then you put marker on top, it's very difficult to get rid of the pencil. And it makes sense. Um, and this here, I actually erased all the lines of the pencil before using the marker because I did use the fine liner before using the markers. So I could erase all the lines of the pencil, which resulted in a much cleaner look without the pencil but at the same time my fine liner job didn't quite do that well because it has some, some very rough edges and contours anyway i really liked the final result and i think i'm gonna have a lot of fun with these markers the quality is amazing for the price like i said i paid 36 euros for 168 pens which is a lot i know some people are gonna come and say that the quality of these markers is nothing compared to copic for example copic markers seem to be the greatest markers out there and that's true as well because they have the brush tip which is very very helpful but i didn't feel like paying a lot of money for markers especially because i don't have the skills yet to fully use them in a good way so this pack here is perfect for beginners and i would even go ahead and suggest you get a smaller pack because like i said i think i got too excited and i bought all the colors but you definitely don't need all the colors you can start with a 72 pack a 42 pack and i think it's going to be great for beginners i just got very excited and i wanted all the colors and it was a very good deal so i just went ahead and bought it anyway guys uh, in the next video i'll be organizing these markers because they came in this little in this beautiful bag here but i don't want them to be standing because since they have two tips uh eventually one of them might dry out because it's like it's sitting like this so the alcohol might go down so i prefer to just have them um, laid horizontally so i'll make a little box for them and i'll organize them in the next video with you guys so if you liked this video don't forget to leave your like and also subscribe here to my channel i post lots of videos most of them are in portuguese 
but for 2021 i'll come back and post a lot of videos in english as well because i know there are a couple of people who speak english and not portuguese that like to watch my videos so make sure to post more videos in english so you guys will be able to watch them anyway i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i'll see you guys in the next video